Hi guys, hope y'all are having a great day. So today I want to talk to you about wine. <laughs> Let's get personal for a second, really quick. First of all, I'm a Christian, strong believer, love Jesus. I don't drink every night, <laughs> but I like to have a glass, maybe one or two during the week and then one or two on the weekends. So I grew up Southern Baptist and my dad's a deacon. Him and I have always gone back and forth on wine. And I was raised not to drink and old school Southern Baptist, if you were raised that way, you know that as well. But I was confused. I'm always one of those people that I want to know the why. Like if something's in the Bible, why, why am I, you know, why, why are we not allowed to have alcohol if God used wine all throughout the Bible? And it was his first miracle. So it's just one of those things like when in moderation, it's a wonderful thing. And it's one of those things that just gets out of control, then it's not. So my dad and I have always had this ongoing conversation. Now we're both adults, so you know we can talk about it with a little less argument, <laughs> argue, arguing. Do you guys know that I am all about clean beauty, clean living, not to perfection, but as much as you possibly can. Wine is something that I have been searching for for a long time and trying to find a, I don't know what you call it, subscription, wine club, um, vineyard that produces clean wine that I feel confident in, but that I also like, because my husband and I are kind of foodies and winos, and we really like, it needs to taste good. And so I've been very picky, and I haven't really, I have found a few that are clean, um, cleaner, but they don't necessarily live up to my expectation of taste. So with that said, I have found a really great wine and I wanna talk about that with you guys today. Rewind back to what I was talking about within the Bible, biblical wine versus today wine. So my dad and I have gone back and forth on this topic. And so I started to dig into research a little bit about wine and is the wine of, because my dad would say, Charity, the wine of the Bible and ancient wine is not the same wine as today. And I'm like, that's weird. Okay, so I wanna know why, why has it changed? So I have dug into research and I co-wrote a blog post for you guys so you can see um, the research behind it all. And is the wine of biblical times and ancient times the same as wine today? It's not. And one thing that's different is the alcohol content. So one thing my dad definitely was right on is the alcohol ancient time and biblical times had lower alcohol content like kind of significantly much less alcohol content back then than it does today. So today they add in all sugar and it's not fermented with wild yeast anymore. It's different. And so the alcohol content is higher than it was in Bible times. So we are talking about a completely different product actually. So I wanted to know, is there a line out there that has wine that's lower alcohol content that's clean and it also tastes good. Like that's the biggest thing for me because like I said, I have found a few companies that create cleaner wine but don't necessarily taste great. <laughs> and the refund policy wasn't very great. So that's the backstory. Now let me introduce you to Dry Farm Wines. I have my little flyer here so I don't miss anything. Dry Farm Wines, okay, I'll give you a little picture here so you can see. It is clean, it is grown organically, it's biodynamic, it's sugar-free, it is keto-friendly, paleo-friendly. So there's less than one gram of sugar in every single bottle. So I was curious if that's gonna affect the taste of the wine, but it actually does not. And I barely noticed a difference at all. So it's actually really good. And the lower the sugar, the better you feel the next day too. And the better it is for your health. Lower sulfites, lower alcohol, it's less than 12.5% 12, 12 alcohol. Every bottle is below that number. It's 100%, this is what I was talking about a second ago, 100% wild native yeast fermentation. Handcrafted in small batches, old world. So almost every single bottle that I've gotten is from a completely different country. Most of it's not even, um, the vineyards are not even in the US. No industrial additives, older vines, dry farmed and irrigation free. So. There's a whole thing. I'll let you guys read up on the company. I won't go into the details. It's actually gonna be on my blog post, all the details about the company and biblical wine, ancient wine versus modern wine. So I am gonna open this one today. And I'll just test it out for you. One thing that is so great about this company as well is if you do not like the bottle or the wine that you've tried, then they will. You, all you have to do is contact them and they will send you 
a brand new bottle. You don't have to send it back or anything like that. It is super, super easy. But I will say I have not found one bottle yet that I didn't like. And I am very um, picky <laughs> on the quality and taste of my wine. And I enjoy a nice glass of wine while I'm cooking. And I sometimes I just want one glass at the end of the day to while, while I'm cooking to just chill, relax, listen to a little bit of music. And um, I also love that this is super good for my health. And I try to eat pretty clean like Monday through Friday. <laughs> so it doesn't mess me up if I wanna have a glass of wine during the week and um, relax a little bit. So good. I love every bottle. I haven't tried this one. This one was new. Very, very good. And you can see each bottle comes with, or they comes with little stickers and you stick them on your bottles so you know that it, um, like which bottles are from Dry Farm Wines and which bottles are not. I will tell you I'm about to up my subscription. I don't wanna be drinking any other brand because I have fallen in love with it and I'm confident that it's clean, it's better for me, and I love that it's lower alcohol content. So. Cheers, friends. I hope you guys um, get a chance to try this brand. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Like I said, if you don't like a bottle, they will send you a new one. I reached out to this brand and asked them if they wanted to partner together because I love what they stood for and I love their stuff. So they're super, super great to work with and I hope you guys love their product. So let me know if you guys like it and cheers. Y'all have a great evening.